Do I even need an intro anymore? Do I even need to say what's going on YouTube? I think I do. What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing back a fan favorite, a Pokemon that has been dominant on the rank ladder, but actually fell off a little bit. We're rocking with Porygon Z, Zacian, and Calyrex team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that, yo. Seriously, get on top of that. We got some big news coming soon with sponsorships and all that good stuff for, from your boy Jeans. And we got plenty of new content coming along the way. So like I said, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. But let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only duck Pokemon over here, Porygon C. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Super, super strong and great in the Dynamax form. We got Adaptability as his ability to make his stab moves such as Hyper Beam do double damage. And then we got Life Orb as item to actually give that more damage on top of that. Really, really strong Pokemon. We also got Thunderbolt for coverage, Dark Pulse for coverage, and then we're rocking out with Protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is going to be Clefairy, a top tier support mon with that Evo Light and the Friend Guard ability. We got Follow Me, Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, and last but not least, we're rocking Protect on our Clefairy. Middle left is the one and only Zacian. Zacian is really good, and I really like this moveset on this Zacian. We got, obviously, the Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword as item and ability. We're rocking Iron Head and Sacred Sword, but then we also have Imprison. This could work really well up against other Zacians. We can imprison them on moves, so they can't use moves that we have. So, we can pull that off. It could be pretty cool. Final move for this Pokemon, obviously, is going to be Protect, because, you know, Protect just works so well on any Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon on a squad is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex over here with the Aswin ability, and the best item for him is going to be the Focus Ash. We got Astro Barrage for, you know, big stab damage, Snarl for special attack drops, Will-O-Wisp for burns on physical attackers, and then last but not least, Protect yet again. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Blastoise over here, and I'm pretty sure this is a G-Max Blastoise with Hydro Cannon, Blizzard, Yawn, and Fake Out. Really good moveset for him, and then we obviously got the Torrent ability, alongside with that Wakan Berry, so we can actually soak up one electric shot. Final Pokemon on the squad is the lovely Incineroar. I don't think I have to say anything about it, except for it's holding the Choppleberry. You don't really see uh, many holding the Choppleberry, but this one's holding Choppleberry. Then everything else is normal with its ability and its moveset. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. The rent code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this adaptability Porygon Z Series 12 team. We're getting ready for battle number one right here, and we're going up against a Draco Fish team. And I haven't seen Draco Fish in God's know how long. I do not know the last time I saw Draco Fish, but I want to use them again. So if any of you guys have a Draco Fish Series 12 team, send me that rental code in the comment section down below or something. I would love, love, love to get my hands on it. Because that Pokemon is so much fun to use, and I haven't used them in so long. But he's rocking with Zacian, Groudon team, Raichu, Charizard, and then he has a... What's that Pokemon team again? Stockataka over there. Okay, haven't seen that Pokemon in a while either. So this battle is definitely going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Porygon Z could be solid in a, in a lot of different situations. We got the electric moves. We got our, our stab moves. I really am like a PZ. So, you know what, PZ? You're coming down here for the lead. Let's get rocking with you. So, Porygon Z for the lead. We could go Clefairy. We could indeed go Clefairy. I definitely want Incineroar here. I might actually lead Incineroar. I do like Incineroar. A lot of physical attackers. A lot of different stuff going on here. So, we're going to go Incineroar. We're going to go PZ. And then we're just going to go into Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex. I'm digging it. Actually, I could lead Shadow Rider Calyrex, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, Shadow Rider Calyrex lead him over Incineroar. I like that. Just due to that uh, fake out, that's probably going to come in from the uh, Raichu. We're probably going to Dynamax our PZ, and then we can get rolling from there. So, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And then if we have to, we could uh, always protect or just throw a will -O over onto the uh, Zacian if he leads it. Because that could be a problem for my Dynamax Porygon Z. It really could be. It really could be. So, we'll see how he wants to play this one. We shall see how he wants to play this. So he's gonna send out whom? Who's he rocking with? Charizard and Raichu. Okay, I'm really cool with that. I think we just Snarl Drop, Dynamax, and, and get after it that way. I think that's a gorgeous turn for us, right? That's definitely a gorgeous turn for us. Dump on the Charizard too. Ooh, I, I like that a lot. Yo, Snarls can come out here, out and about. Or we can take out the Raichu. Who do we want to take out here? Who do we want going? I think we take out the Raichu, right? We'll slow them down here as well. We'll Snarl Drop. Whew. I do dig it. I really worried about this Charizard that much. I don't want to get rid of this Raichu. I kind of just want to get rid of this Raichu. Because Snarl's going to come out here first, and we should be fine with eating up shots. I'm cool with this. I'm really cool with this. We're going to get rid of this Raichu. We're going to say bye-bye to this Raichu. And he might not be Dynamaxing. Which I'm fine with if he does Dynamax. And this is a great call for us. 
but we're dynamaxing here we're getting our lovely little pz out there yo i missed this dude he does his little spaz thing right here right watch him he starts spazzing he wiggles his arms everywhere oh he didn't do it he didn't do it yo what he does it like occasionally like if you guys keep your eyes on pz he'll be doing that stuff but he's gonna fake out my pz it's cool we're dynamax we love that turn snarl's gonna come out here we'll get that special attack drop that's gorgeous and we're gonna be able to take out raichu raichu's gonna be gone it's gonna be gorgeous everything's gonna be chilling I like this turn a lot. Hurricane's gonna come through and he misses. And he misses! That's oh my god, yo, that's a solid turn on the rank ladder. But there's my boy PZ taking out Raichu, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Adaptability is way too strong. So they pick up a big KO there. We're gonna slow down the Charizard as well. So now my PZ outspeeds the Charizard. And we can kind of just go from here. If he goes to a physical attacker, I'm gonna burn it. If he goes to a special attacker, I'm just gonna drop snarls and have my PZ just, you know, get after it. The plan. That is the plan. I think Browdon's gonna come out here, right? He's gonna be sassy. Alright, yeah, we burn it at the moment. I could protect them. I could protect my PZ. Which, do I do it? Do I protect the PZ? I think we just max lightning over on this thing. We take this thing out, right? Or, you know what? I'd rather max strike and slow, slow down this Ascian, too. So, we're just going to go here. Will-O-Wisp into a lovely little max lightning. If I play all day. And yes, sir. Yo, what a way to start off today's video with an opponent rage quit. We love it, yo. We absolutely love it. We're going to start off 1-0. We're hopping into our second battle. Looking to go back to back. I haven't had an opponent rage quit in so long. I absolutely loved it. We grabbed ourselves a win here. Even my board went up, so it wasn't like he just like, or we disconnected or anything. He quit and we got ourselves a win, which is absolutely amazing. We were probably going to dominate that battle anyway. We were sitting in such a good position. Willow was probably would have landed onto the Zacian. Zacian couldn't have taken out my Porygon with that burn. We would have been able to get off a Max Lightning or a Max Strike. When we were going after Charizard, take out the Charizard, slow down the Zacian, and pretty much just go from there. We had that battle locked up in the bag. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Looking to have a full battle in this battle. <laughs> and we're going up against a Solgaleo and Shadow Rider Calyxie. So that is definitely scary. It definitely scares me a little bit because, you know, that's a good combo. That is a good combo. He also has the Zapdos, who is really, really good Dynamax. But uh, how should I play this one? I think PZ could come out here again. PZ's type nice with it. He does have a dark move as well, which is really, really good up against that, uh, that Solgaleo. So we could go PZ alongside with Clefairy, which isn't too shabby. Which I don't mind too, too much. Gives us a friend guard. allows us to do a little bit here. Uh, do we want to go Clefairy here? I want to go Clefairy. I'm kind of leaning towards him. Leaning towards Clefairy, Zassian, and Shadow Rider, Calyrex. It just seems good. It just seems solid. So we're going to get PZ back in here. We're going to try to showcase him a little bit more, considering we already showcased, like, every single one of these Pokemon in previous videos. And since Series 12 come out, like, all these Pokemon we use multiple, multiple times. So I want to get PZ out in today's video. I really do. Just a fun Pokemon to use, and you guys do not see him too often. So hopefully you guys are renting this code, too. Because I'm telling you, Porygon Z is still super, super strong. Super, super strong. But he's going to end up leading the Caldex alongside with Indeedee. So I don't, I don't mind that one bit. I could change up terrain. I could easily change up terrain with the Max Lightning, but I don't really think I want to do that. I don't really think I want to do that. I think Follow Me's going to come out here alongside with a, uh... Alongside with a, uh... What is that called? An Astral Barrage, so I don't even think Follow Me for me is going to be good. Right? It might not even be good. I might just want to slow down everybody. I could go for Dark Pulse. I could go for Max Strike. Alright, Darkness could be our best bet. Drop the, uh, Special Attack, right? Really, really good. Not that special defense. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Let's drop this right here. Drive out with that. Actually, wouldn't adaptability make this do just as much damage? Probably even more. Yeah, I do dig that. So, you know, we're going here just to get that speed drop. And then we'll go into maybe a Dazzle Gleam. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight into a Dazzle Gleam. Because I think a Follow Me is going to come out from his Indeedee. And then he's going to drop Astro Barrages, right? That's what I think is going to happen. So we'll just Dynamax Porygon from there. We'll start slowing down everybody and rolling out from there. Yeah, so we're Dynamaxing. He's not going to Dynamax, obviously, because who Dynamaxes a Shadow Rider Calyrex unless they absolutely have to. And then we'll just roll out from here. I don't mind it one bit. I do not mind it one bit. Not one bit. Plus, with the slowdown, it could be good, but Shadow Rider Calyrex probably still outspeeds pretty much all my Pokemon, besides my own Shadow Rider Calyrex with minus one, because it's just so fast. It's just so fast. So he's going to imprison. That's fine. So I can't follow me. That's totally fine by me. We're going for a max strike here. And we probably could take out Indeedee. He imprisoned me. I don't mind that one bit. Let's look at that. Yo, we dump on the Indeedee. We dump on the Indeedee, no problem. So he was imprisoning. What was he imprisoning? That's the real question. That was the real question. What was he imprisoning? I'm kind of curious. Because I thought of it as a second, like, oh, he imprisoned, follow me. But no, Indeedee would have used imprison. 
So what's he imprisoning? My Shadow Rider Catharx? Hmm. I do not know. I do not know. But we're doing good here. We're doing good here. He's going to bring out Solgaleo. And this is where I drop my Dark Move. I can follow me this shot. Drop my Dark Move. I'm pretty sure we outspeed him, right? I'm pretty sure we outspeed him. So, you know, I'm just going to go for follow me here. Yes, sir. Follow me. Let's run it up. He's probably going to go for that Steel Spike. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the Steel Spike. We have the Shadow Rider Catharx minus one. I think we're doing just fine. I think we're doing just fine here. Especially if I can get the special defense drop, because then I can bring out my Shadow Rider Calyrex. He can do some big old damage. He can do some big old damage. So, great turn for us. This is a solid turn for us. But, yo, like I said in the beginning, PZ is no joke. He's no joke. He's still such a beast. And there, there he's doing the Spaz thing that I wanted him to do last battle. But, he's no joke. Super, super strong. Super great Pokemon alongside with the Clefairy. Like, Clefairy can just protect him with the Friend Guard. You just follow me to soak up shots. It just works so well. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing this guy. I'm totally cool with that. We'll proc his weakness policy because we know he's rolling with weakness policy. And the reason I, I'm like allowing myself to proc his weakness policy is because I know I have strong Pokemon in the back end that can clean up this battle. That can legit clean up this battle. So proc his weakness policy is probably our best bet just to get off as much damage as we possibly can. Done with it all day. Follow me's poking for my lovely little Clefairy. Yes, sir. Run it up. And then he's just going to go for a Steel Spike. That's probably going to take me out. That's all good. He's going to get Defense Boost. But we're rolling with... Uh, oh, yo, my Fairy eats it off. Yo, I love you, Clefairy. I love you, Clefairy. That's great. That's great. But he takes a Defense Boost. It don't really matter. We're going to be taking this thing out with Special Defense, which is great. And Max Darkness is going to fly. Send it, baby. Send it. Look at that damage. That's some gorgeous damage. That's some gorgeous damage. Now, what's Calyrex going for? That's a real question. What is Cali Cali going for? We're gonna proc Weezy Like I said, it's totally fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And what is, I'm curious what this Calyrex is going for. He's going for his Astro Barrage. Just for Boulders. Can you eat that up, Clefairy? Oh my god, we love it. We would love it. And since his Calyrex was slower, was minus one, he did not proc policy beforehand. That's good for us. That is great for us. Because I should be able to do this. And just go into another follow me and soak up whatever Solgaleo has to offer. Oh, we love this turn. We love it. We love it, y'all. Clefairy's soaking up. It's so bulky with the Evo Light and the Friend Guard. It is so bulky. We love it, yo. Eating up a Max Steel Spike from a Solgaleo? Bro, get out of my face. We love it, yo. PZ's rolling here. We still have our two Restricted Mons in the back, which I really, really like. I really, really, really like. My Calyrex is like max speed. It's ready just to charge up onto Pokemon. But this guy's really thinking, and, and he's, he's going to have to. He's kind of in like a, he's in a sticky situation here where I have full control of this battle. The so follow me comes out here. He's gonna drop a quake here. That's that's totally fine. He'll get a special defense boost, and we should still be able to take out that uh that Solgaleo because he went minus one. Now he's plus one. Oh no! Now now he's now he's even on special defense. So we should be able to do enough damage just to take that thing out. But who knows? Shadow Rider Calyx might be able to outspeed us now. It does. Astro Barrage comes out here, and it doesn't affect me anymore. So beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna go through Max Darkness and again, should be able to take him out, right? It does not, wow. It does not take him out. A little weird. A little weird. I guess we got a low roll on that. My last one did more damage than that. So the special defense drop comes out here. And now we can just roll into this dude, right? We can just roll into this guy and say GG's, right? It's pretty much over. This was my exact plan right here. Once, once, once I had the upper hand, I was just like, I'm just gonna follow me out with Clefairy. Wait for that thing to die, get out Calyrex, and pretty much seal up the battle. Like it's over. It is over. No one's allowed to eat berries either because we're unnerving everything. We ain't playing around. We're not playing around. We'll go here. Lovely little Astro Barrage can come through here. And I'd rather go for a Thunderbolt. Where's my Astro Barrage? Astro Barrage. Oh, you son of a biscuit. The Imprison. How dare you, dude? How dare you? He, oh my god. What? Hate this game. All right, we'll double down into... Uh, We'll double down to him just in case. Actually, I'd rather go for a Dark Pulse. Super effective on both. Are you kidding me? This thing really just did me dirty like that. <laughs> he really just did me dirty like that. The Imprison. I totally forgot about that. No! Wait a minute, yo. We got a battle on our hands now. This one should have been over. Can Snarl take out... No way Snarl takes out Solgaleo. No way it does. There's no way, right? Snarl comes out here. Take him out, please. Oh my god, it almost does. It takes out the Calyrex, but not the Solgaleo. That is ridiculous. So let's see who he goes for here. We get a Grim Nabu. It, it's over regardless, because he can only take out one of my Pokemon. 
That's fine. He's gonna go for a quake and who's he gonna go after? That might actually it is gonna take me out. I'm gonna take out my PZ all day. The PZ drops out. We still have Shadow Rider Kalax who's gonna outspeed Sokalio. Dump on that with a snarl. Or now we can use Astro Barrage, and then we have Zassy in the back end to clean up this battle. Fire. We are we're we're chilling with this one. Light work. Light work. Victory hydration, baby. Victory hydration. We love it. We love it. But yeah, I, I came out there. I was just like, yo, let me just ask for Bryce. And I was just like, oh, he's in prison. I'm like, what you mean? Get out of my face. He's going to bring out Zapdos. I'm totally fine with that. Calyrex out speeds everything. I should be able to use Astro Barrage, right? Calyrex isn't on the field, or is it still imprisoned? I'm curious about that. I'd be very upset. But Snarl would actually work well. Zapdos is a special attacker. I might just snarl regardless. I might just snarl regardless. Can I ask for Raj? I can. I can. I think I'm just gonna snarl regardless, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna snarl regardless. Drop that thing special attack. We love it. We love it. Snarl's gonna come out here. Built. We're gonna say bye bye to you. And look at that damage. Actually, I should have asked for Raj. I forgot I'm plus one. I forgot I was plus one from the Grim Nade. We probably could have just dumped on that Zapdos. That one's on me. It's all good, though. We're Grim Nade plus two. We still have our Focus Ash as well. So it's like, GG's. Behemoth Blade actually might be able to take this thing out. It's not very effective, but it can do some damage, yo. Everybody knows Zassian can do some big damage. We come out here with Behemoth Blade, and so close. So close, but not close enough. But not close enough. Heat Wave comes through here. Both my Pokemon are going to be able to eat this up. And we're totally fine. We are totally fine. We are chilling, and he's going to take some life orb damage. And there it is, yo. GG's. Foul number two in the bag. Porygon prevails again. Our restricted mons come in the back end. Clean it up. Clean it up. So we guaranteed ourselves a winning record, which is gorgeous, which is lovely. Now we can hop into our third and look for that perfect record. But hopefully our, our dude cancels. He should cancel, right? There's no way he stays in his battle, right? Yep, battle was canceled. Let's go. Let's hop into our third and go grab ourselves a perfect record. It's perfect record time. We guaranteed ourselves that winning record. Let's grab articles a perfect record in battle number three. We're going up against a Galarian Articuno team with Kyogre, Zekrom, Regilecki, Confi, who is a phenomenal support mod, making me think that that Zekrom might be weakness policy, because, you know, or Kyogre could be weakness policy, because Confi can proc both of them with an Energy Ball and a Draining Kiss, so, or Giga Drain and Draining Kiss. Gotta watch out for that. Gotta watch out for that. And then he also has the top affinity for the final Pokemon. Okay, how am I going into this one? That scene could be a solid lead, but it's just so scary with that uh, with that Confi out there. It really is. It really is scary with that Confi out there. But I'm still going to lead Zassian. We're going to try to roll off from there. And a fake out Blastoise. But Confi still outspeeds. That's the problem. Confi will still outspeed and kind of get rolling with that. Because Confi will have first turn priority. Confi's so good. It's so good for no reason. So we're going to go into that. Uh, Zassian. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? We could go Blastoise here. I'm... Mmm. 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 Incineroar, maybe? Incineroar Calyrex? PZ. Run it. Run it. Run it! Let's run it. Let's run it. This one's gonna be tough for us. The Comfy really scares me. I don't like the Comfy. I do not like the Comfy one bit. It's just too good of a support mod. And it can just do so many different things. It can heal your Pokemon. It can proc policies. It can ally switch. It's just so good. It is just so good all around. So it's always tough going up Confi, in my opinion. In my opinion. Some people are probably just like, yo, Confi's no problem for me. I dump on it every single time. But for me, I always have a problem going up against it. And there it is. There's Lee. Confi and Zekrom. Confi and Zekrom. So, uh, we could just get rid of that. We could just get rid of the Confi. Which I'm leaning to. I think he's just gonna proc policy, he's just gonna get after it, right? I don't mind taking out the Confi for a, uh... I don't mind taking out the Confi for a, uh, what's it called? For that thing taking out my Zassian. I really don't mind that. So, you know, I'm just gonna parting shot here. I'm gonna take out the Confi. See what he does. Confi's just so scary. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. He's way too scary. He's way too scary, guys. So he's going to Dynamax Zekrom. This is what I thought he was going to do all along. He's probably going to Drain and Kiss onto the side. We're going to go next. We're going to go with a Behemoth Blade. We'll take out the Confi, but he will have a policy proc Zekrom right here. And we're going to drop his stats a little bit. And we're going to get rolling from there. We shall see. We shall see. And I'm curious. Is this physical or special? If it's physical, that's big because we already intimidated him. Drain and Kiss comes out here. Yeah. Wow. That actually did a lot of damage to him. Got a crit. Awesome. <laughs> we love it. We love it. We love it. We got a, he got a crit on his own self. 
We like that a lot. Behemoth's Blade comes through here. And of course, this thing's Babiri Berry. Can we still take that thing out through Babiri Berry? That'd be real clutch. That'd be real clutch if we can. Can we? Please? We do not. That's rough. That is real rough. But Beery Berry clutches up. Max Strike come through here. He's gonna slow down a little bit. That's fine by me. You should be able to eat that up, Incineroar. All day, baby. All day, Incineroar. Okay, so Max Strike comes out here. I can just bring out what's it called now. I can just bring out uh I can just bring out Shadow Rider Calyrex and Astral Barrage. It's gonna be really, really good for us. Because if he allies switches, we take out the Confi regardless. And then my Zassin can get off a shot onto the Zekrom. I'm liking that. I'm really liking that. Because after, say, say his Zekrom, who probably out, can outspeed my Zassi now, takes out my Zassian. We just bring out PZ and we Don Max him from there. Digging it. I'm digging it. I like this turn. I like it. I don't know if Proc in here. That's fine. No berries. Wow, dude. If we would have swapped into that, that could have worked really well for us. That could have worked really well for us. But we're just going to go straight into a Behemoth Blade into this thing. And then, like I said, Astro Brush straight up. Right? Yeah. That's my play all day. He's probably going to Floral Healing beforehand before he goes out. Kind of hoping he ally switches, but we'll see. I think he's just gonna floral heal straight up. Let's see what his play is. Protect. Okay, so he's gonna protect Compi. That's that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Astro Bash can come out here, chip up some damage onto that uh Zekrom, and hopefully maybe he'll go after the Calyrex. That could be huge because we do have a focus ash, which is just gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. He's gonna quake though. That's gonna take out my my Zassian all day. Bye bye Zassian. So Zassian drops out. That's fine. We're gonna bring out PZ now, and we're just gonna Dynamax him from there. Dynamax the PZ. The lovely Porygon Z. And we're gonna get grooving with that. I could guard the PZ here, which could be a really good play, but he's just gonna floral healing. Like we already know that's happening. We already know that's happening. Or I could bring back out you, but I'm gonna save my uh instant war for the back end. I'm gonna save him for just to be able to fake out later in the match. So we're gonna go to PZ. We're gonna Dynamax, my boy. We are getting after this. No ants, ifs, or buts. Dynamax, max strike, right on over into you, and we're just going to Ash. Astral Barrage. Let's do it. Let's do it. I probably should have Snarl, but it's just like, mm, I don't think Snarl can take out the Confi. I'm not confident in it. I'm not confident in it. It probably can, but I, I don't know. I can't rely on it. So Astral Barrage is definitely not black. But we're probably going to see a Floral Healing come out here. And we're going to hope that he goes after my uh, Calyrex, because that would be amazing. That would be amazing, because then we get the Tash up. And then my Porygon could still be at full HP. But Porygon should be able to soak up whatever Zekrom has to offer, right? That's what's so good about Porygon. He's only super effective or weak against uh, fighting moves. And not a lot of Dynamax Pokemon rock fighting moves. The only fighting moves that we're going to really see in Series 12 is going to be the Urshfus. Plain and simple. Urshfus is really the only big old fighting Pokemon you see. But uh, we Dynamax PZ. Lovely little PZ. And what's he going to do here? Floral healing, if I had to guess right. Is he going to heal up? Yeah, he's going to heal up his Pokemon. Yeah, so he's going to heal up his uh, level little Zekrom a little bit. And I'm kind of fine with that because I think a Max Strike and an Astro Barrage should be able to take him out in the problem. So we get rid of the Confi. We do not get swept, which is gorgeous. And if we can get off this Max Strike, I think we can win this battle. If we go next. That would be lovely if we go next. And we have a Grim Nade boost, which is huge for us. We do go next. That's huge. Can we take this thing out? PZ, yo. Do him dirty, yo. You do some big damage. PZ, do it to him. Oh, PZ. So close. So close, PZ. Big old damage. We slow him down. And we have... A plus one Calyrex on the field, which is lovely. He's gonna go for a lightning. Who's that going over into Calyrex? I'm cool with that. We have Sash. We have Sash. We have Focus Sash. That is huge. We have Focus Sash. He has two more Pokemon left. Um, hopefully he's not rocking out with somebody with like a first turn priority. In that case, I could protect and get some damage. But Zekrom's all done here. His first turn priority Pokemon really is just Comfy. And Comfy's dead. We took out Comfy. So let's see who he throws out here. Let's see who he throws out here. I don't open it's Kyogre. Just set the electric train for us, so now our max lightning can do even more damage. That's great. That's gorgeous. But let's just see who he goes out into. We have the fastest Pokemon. Like I said, I think the only way we kind of like go down from here is if he has a first turn priority. Move. He's gonna roll into Kyogre. Yo, I'm fine with that. He's gonna protect Kyogre. We already know that. Like it's 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 already happening, and that's totally fine. And if he doesn't protect Kyogre, he's dead. He's dead because you know Astro is gonna come through here. It's going to do some work. And then we have, uh, do we go Max Strike or do we go Lightning? I don't want to slow him down a little bit, but still. We're just going to go Max Lightning and we're just going to drop a nice, lovely Astro Barrage here. Take out the Zekrom and deal some damage over onto that Kyogre. He out, he's Choice Scarf. That son of a biscuit. 
That son of a biscuit. He's choice scar. Don't do me dirty like that. This should be able to carry him, right? Okay, he's dead. Oh my god, we're gonna lose this battle. We are gonna lose this battle. We were looking so good. We were looking so good, but Choice Scarf Kyra comes out. Wow. Rise of Volts comes through. That's that kills us. Oh my god, we really gonna lose this battle. I hate this game. I hate this game. Choice Scarf Kyra has done me dirty so many times. So many times. Because it's just so not expected. You know, you're sitting there with a Calyrex. Like, look at this thing's speed. Give me a second. Look, look at this thing's speed. 222. 222. Are you kidding me? 222 speed. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, I have the fastest Pokemon out on the field. It can't really do anything up, up against me. Next thing I know, Kyra comes out here. I'll just water spout. I'm faster than you. <laughs> he just dumps on me. Get out my face. That's GG's, though. Wow, that's rough. And it was this thing. It was this thing. Yo, my PZ could have ripped into that. Could have ripped into that. No problem. It would have been no problem. But from here, you know, we're just going to go for a lovely little fake out. See if fake out can actually take out the Zekrom. I would love to just take out the Zekrom. Wow, dude. Choice Scarf does it dirty, but great plays by our opponent. Choice Scarf really wins him the battle. Really wins our opponent this battle. Fake out coming out. Yeah. And yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do enough damage. And Wild Charge can come through here, and that's going to finish me off. Yep, GG's 2-1 for today's video. Not bad. We were able to grab ourselves a winning record and showcase Porygon Z in the Series 12. The Glass Duck Porygon Z dominates in Series 12. You guys cannot tell me he's not still super, super strong. We just went 2-1 with him and showed off his absolute power. He was one shot in Pokemon left and right, doing massive amount of damage left and right. It's just so, so strong, especially paired up with that Clefairy because Clefairy is a great support mom for that thing, can redirect shots and help him soak up some more shots with that friend guard ability. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.